So we are learning a little more about torque. So let me define torque now. See this. If there is any force F, let's understand what is torque. All of you please pay attention. If I am going to give you a proper definition of torque. Now, the symbol is tau. Please pay attention. It's a vector. If there is any force F in space, F0, and there is any point P about which I want to find the torque of this force. This point P is in space, any point P. I want to find the torque of this force about this point. Please see this. Join, this is the line of action of this force. Join any point with this point, any point on the line of action of force with this point, any point, huh? and call this vector as R. The force, the torque will give, the torque due to this force about this point will be given by, torque will be given by R cross S. Please understand this, this is the vector form or the most general form of finding the torque of a force about any point in space. Now, one important thing I would like to highlight that the easy form of this equation, please see this. Sir, huh? sir but Continue. the point P, Continue. Sir, the point P needs to be uh, a part of the system on which uh, the force no, is No, 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 no. It can be anywhere in space. I haven't mentioned a rigid body right now. I'll come to that. When we when we say yes, Kritika, I have got your point. I have got your point. I have understood. Right now I am telling you any force in space and any point in space. I am telling you the net torque about a point P in space is given by R cross F. Please remember this. Isme koi galti nahi. I'll come to the exact case that you are saying. Torque should be is equal to I alpha jab likhenge, then it has to be a point which is either at rest or a point which is center of mass of the body. You want to say something, Kritika, more? Uh, sir, no, actually I was wondering then, fear kaise, uh, how will it cause rotation? No, 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 we, we, we are coming to that. We are coming to that. Yes. See, I'll tell you one thing. Agar Daud ki dada giri Bombay mein chalti hai, suniye. To uske liye, aur main, ya electric field hum define karenge, kisi charge ka electric field at a point. Matlab, which is like influence of that charge at that point. So we'll define it and we'll say that here it's going to be a little bit. But when there will be someone, then it will be a little bit. If there will not be someone, then it will not be a little bit. But that area will be a little bit. So like this force is torque. Now, will it produce some effect or not? Or will it produce some effect from the visibility or physical significance? No, it will depend on what force is going on and what point is going on. All these things will come. Right now, please understand this. Now, please pay attention. How do I find cross product of two vectors? I place the tails of those two vectors at the same point. I move those, shift those vectors parallel to their directions and bring their tails together. So I bring this R vector here as shown. And I bring this F also here as shown. And now just see, this is F, this is R. And I want to find R cross F. It will be equal to magnitude of R into magnitude of f into sine theta where sine theta where sine theta is ha ha okay thoda sa ha ma'am are you worried about the ha direction ha ha don't worry about that i i understand what you are trying to say now please pay attention so r cross f okay i'll i'll draw the diagram again if you want but i feel it's okay just wait yeah i need to highlight this i'll redraw the diagram Let's move on to the next page. I saw that. I realized we need to understand this very carefully because यहीं से पूरी rotation की कहानी शुरू होगी और मैं इस basic step को skip नहीं करना चाहता हूँ. In fact, I should have done it earlier and those children wouldn't have fallen asleep. I know that. Now let me come to yeah. Torque is denoted by the vector torque is denoted by tau. T A U is the the symbol is this. And torque due to a force is defined this way. We see this. If you have any force F0, this is a force F0 acting in space. Obviously, it has to be. A force cannot exist in space. Obviously, it will be acting on a body. Later, we'll come to that. I'm just telling you if this is a force F0 and there is a point P and I want to find the torque of this point, uh, of this force about this point. Please see. The line of action of this force is this. Choose any point, choose any point on this line of action and draw the vector R. 
which will be like this. So if you join any point on the line of force starting from point P, this vector is defined as R. And now the torque due to this force will be given by F naught. Sorry. To find the torque about this point, we see this. The torque about this point P will be given by tau will be equal to R cross F. And I want to highlight a simpler version of this definition, which is if R, when we find the cross product between two vectors, we shift those vectors and bring their tail together. So this vector is say R vector, I have shifted it parallel to itself, and I shift the force also, and the force is say F naught. And if I want to find R cross F, then this angle is called the angle between the two vectors theta, and R cross F will be equal to magnitude of r into magnitude of f into sine theta. Now, please see this. If I draw a perpendicular from this point on the line of action of force, this perpendicular distance is say d perpendicular. Please see if this distance, this is the, this distance, p m is the distance, this distance is magnitude of r. If this angle is theta, obviously this angle will also be theta. And you can see R sine theta can also be written as perpendicular distance D perpendicular. Can you see this in this triangle? PM sine theta will be P. Yes. So the torque will be equal to force F naught, magnitude of the force, into perpendicular distance from the point, this is about we have to find the torque. Us point say line of action of force pe jo perpendicular distance hai, force into perpendicular distance will give us the torque. This is the magnitude. But torque is a vector. So how do I get this direction? This magnitude into n cap. n cap is the unit vector in the direction of torque. Can anyone tell me how do I find r cross f? What is the direction of r cross f? Perpendicular to r and to f. Into the plane. Into the plane. Perpendicular to r and f. And you hold r vector and rotate it to the smaller angle towards the f vector. When you rotate, right hand through rule will give you r cross f will be perpendicular to the plane and will it be into the plane of the board or will it be outside the plane of the board? Into the plane. Yes, you will realize the direction will come out to be into the plane of the board and this is the direction of n cap. So here this n cap direction is shown. Yes, so please understand Torque due to a force F0 is given by R cross F, which is equal to, which is equal to, the torque is equal to magnitude of R into F0 into sine theta, and which in turn comes out to be equal to F into perpendicular distance from the point about which torque has to be found on the line of action of force, and the direction is found according to cross product. Everyone clear? I just wanted to do this definition properly. Now, now let's come to numericals based on this. So I'll give you a simple question based on this definition and let me see how many of you will be able to tell me the right answer. Let me give you the next question. Based on this definition, find the torque acting on this body which I am going to draw right now. And let me see how many of you. Now torque is a vector, so you have to tell me the magnitude as well as specify the direction also. And we want to do it in a very generalized way. So please be very attentive and tell me. Now. The diameter is a normal board. Nice. Yes, sir, we that. Just wait. The diagram is going to be three dimensional. You will understand it. Just try to do the question. Focus on the theme. Just wait and watch. You will enjoy it. Just wait. The question is, this is a cubical block. No, we did it for angular momentum, not for torque. So now, this is a cubical block. I am marking its vertices as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. There is a force. The mass of this cubical block is M0. There is a force which is acting along the side DC. DC. There is a force which is acting alongside DC and this force is given by F0. I want you to find the torque about point A. Power. Find the torque about point A. Second is, find the torque about point A. 
in the first case. Second case is find the torque about point F. Third is find the torque about axis AG. Suppose I make this body rotate about an axis AG, then find the torque about axis AG. I would like to point out that the G point is here, this vertex. And find the torque about axis BF. Find the torque about axis BF. Please tell me the proper answer to all the four parts. Let me see how many of you are clear at it. Some are very simple, some answers, some answers are going to be a little lengthy, but you have to specify properly the direction and the magnitude of the torque. So torque about two points and torque about two axes. I have given. So what I mean, is the I have side? What is the side, side of the, the cube? Side of the cube is L naught. Each side is L naught. Yes. I am not expecting you people to be astrologers and predict the side of the cube. F naught, L naught are given to you. Mass is not needed right now. We will need mass if we need to find the angular acceleration and all. Right now, you just tell me the torque about point O, torque about point F, torque about Axis AG, the diagonal, body diagonal of it. And fourth is torque about the axis BF, which is one of the edges of the cube. And you have to specify that direction of torque. I want to add a fifth option also, which is torque about AB. Torque about axis AB. I have already explained in angular momentum. Surbhi, please pay attention. I will be discussing it in detail also. Here also I will highlight from very basics. We need to be crystal clear about one important thing. Torque about a point and torque about an axis. With this single example, we'll be clear about that. Same thing we'll be leading in, in needing in angular momentum. Angular momentum about a point and angular momentum about an axis. And I'll show you some visual problem related to it. Right now, let me solve this question. If we go by the layman definition which is torque about a point is given by force into perpendicular distance so we will be able to get one or two answers very easily can you tell me the line of action of the force right now i will show and draw is this am i right or not yes sir now this line of action what is the perpendicular distance of point a from this line of action l naught so very easily i can say torque is f naught into l naught is the answer of the first part of the question. What is the direction? Minus J. Minus J. Minus J. Minus J. You haven't specified what is x-axis, what is y-axis, what is z-axis. x-axis is along AB. Along AB is, AB okay. is the y-axis and uh, AB is minus K. Minus minus okay. minus Assuming, so yes, I will mark that you are choosing a reference frame where you are saying AB is x-axis, yes, and you are saying AE is y-axis. And so, AD is negative x-axis. Axis. axis and AD is say this direction is your Z axis. Right. Okay. So you have chosen this kind of axis system according to this. Okay. I agree. Now if we if we write everything in a proper vector form, now we'll be very easily able to specify all the torques in three dimension. And this is the power of vectors and a systematic approach that you don't need to visualize in three dimension, which becomes very difficult. If you just follow a systematic approach, you will get the right answers for all the cases. For example, here, let me draw a vector from point A on the line of four. Let me take this vector, AD. Can you tell me AD vector can be represented as what? L naught, J cap or K cap? Minus K cap. Minus L naught, K cap. Yes. This is vector R and F vector can be written as what? Tell me. F naught I cap. F naught I cap. I agree. This is the force vector. Now please tell me how do I find and this is the vector R. How do I find R cross F? It will be magnitude of R, magnitude of F into K cross I. What will be K cross I? You must have learned this in vectors. J cap. J cap. And since we have minus sign here. So it will be, the answer to the first question is, the answer will be tau about A, here I am right, will be equal to R cross F, where R vector is minus L naught K cap, 